Wait! I order! Ah! The explosion in Island East last night, which is believed to have been caused by a massive lightning strike, seems to have finally calmed down with the coming of dawn. Although we do not have confirmation on casualties that may have come from the accident... Last night's explosion knocked out power to over 20,000 homes. 10,000, which still without power. I can't believe what I'm looking at! The monorail line connecting Island East to Island South has taken severe damage! Preliminary calculations have estimated total damages of a billion yen. Effective this. You really put on quite the show last night. Total damage is apparently 50 billion yen. <sighs> well, you are an immortal vampire, so you might be able to pay that off in about 500 years. You'd have to pay 10 million per year, though. So, did you already report what happened last night to your boss of the LKO? I don't know if I should. Huh? Because you aren't the only one at fault for what had happened last night. And besides, you came and saved me. So, thank you for saving me. Y yeah that's right! Those guys pretty much forced me into using my powers to defend myself. If I didn't, I would have died. It's self-defense. However, there's no evidence. Evidence? I'm gonna testify on your behalf, of course, but I don't know if they'll believe me. The Lion King organization isn't on good terms with the police. The fact that we were at the scene at all could prove fatal to our cause. I... I see. We sincerely apologize for the inconvenience. All train schedules are in disarray as a result of last night's explosion that occurred within... Honestly, you really went too far, Senpai. That was far beyond what we'd call self-defense. It's not like I wanted this to happen. That bolt wasn't gonna listen to me regardless of my orders. What do you mean it won't listen to you? It's true that I inherited those familiars from Avarora, the original fourth progenitor. But the familiars themselves haven't accepted me as the successor. Right now I can control them no problem. But when I'm attacked by another familiar, it's not so easy. That's far too dangerous. In which case, we'll need to find a way for you to control your familiars. You know, Himuragi, you're pretty weird. Huh? You're the last person I want to hear that from. I mean, come on. After what I just said, wouldn't it be easier to just eliminate me instead of trying to help me? But this is you we're talking about here. What do you mean? Oh, it's nothing important. It's just from my perspective, you're really not a bad person. But you are a bit lazy, and can be quite obscene. <sighs> but I'm really confused. Why is it that the familiars won't accept you as the fourth progenitor? It's probably because to them, I'm just a virgin vampire. Virgin? As in, I'm inexperienced. I've never sucked anyone's blood or anything as of yet. Oh? 
So that's what you meant when you said virgin. Wait a minute, you haven't sucked blood yet? Is it really that unbelievable to you? I was an ordinary human being until just recently. Also, can you please not blurt out virgin so loudly in a place like this? But why not? Because... Hey, Coach O! Huh? Jeez, man, I can't believe you made a girl say something that risque this early in the morning. Y yase Huh? Hey, this isn't Nagisa-chan. She's a new transfer student in Nagisa's class. We both just happen to live close to each other. I'm Himaragi Yukina. Yukina-chan, huh? You in a band? A band? No, I'm not really into music. Oh? But that thing on your back. Oh, this thing? It's nothing. Hey, Himuraki. Weren't you and Nagisa supposed to be meeting up? We were? Uh, oh, you're right! Excuse me, Senpai. I have to be going now. Hey, Kojo. Hmm? That girl's pretty weird, isn't she? Sure is. Well, not that I care. Just don't cause any trouble, okay? Huh? Trouble? Ooh. Good morning, Kojo. Damn, Asagi, you look exhausted. I am. Um, you saw the news, didn't you? Involving the explosion? <gasps> I got a call from the Man-Made Island Management Corporation. The explosion caused a disaster prevention mainframe to blow out, so I had to put together a backup mainframe from scratch. Sorry. What are you apologizing for? Oh, uh, what I meant was... I'm sorry to hear that, but all the work you do is a massive help to me and everyone on the island. <laughs> It's nothing, really. I'm a simple part-timer. Simple? You work as a programmer for the Man-Made Island Management Corporation. <sighs> That's just because of my talent. Anyway, you want to see this? My world history report? I'm guessing you didn't finish your homework. Can I? Uh, uh, By the way, uh, Kojo. Mind if I ask you something? Who were you with yesterday? Well, Damn, bro, you look fine as hell. Beauty. Hey, Odin, uh, what's going on? Apparently, there's this really cute girl that just transferred into the middle school just the other day. Those guys managed to get their hands on a picture of her. Hmm? Hey, Koju! Huh? Your sister's in the middle school class 3C, isn't she? You think you'd be able to introduce me to this girl? Uh... Uh, uh Kojo, isn't that... Akatsuki Kojo, are you here? Huh? What's up? Come to the guidance office during lunch break. And bring the middle school transfer student with you. The transfer huh? student's oh, going off to. I want to know what the two of you got up to after you both ran out of the arcade the other night. You're going to tell me every last detail. Hey, hey Koju! Bastard. Akatsuki-kun, you have a sagi. So why in the world are you going out with some other girl? What are you talking about? Asagi and I are nothing more than just friends. Sukushima! Sagi's over there by the blackboard. Huh? Oh, my world history report! <laughs> now then, you two. You're both fully aware of the explosion that occurred in Island East last night. Y yeah This isn't the first. In only these past two months, there's been six similar incidents. <laughs> Have a look. <laughs> These are... The victims in the sixth incident. Do you know them? Not really, but... Uh. Are the two of them okay? One of them managed to be saved, but he's unconscious at the moment. <sighs> That's the reason why I called the two of you here. Huh? The criminal who's been randomly hunting down these demons still hasn't been caught. In other words, Akatsuki Kojo, there's a possibility that you may be attacked. Because of this. Until this case is closed, you are to refrain from further cavorting at night. Fine. <clears throat> wait, wait, wait! What exactly do you mean by cavorting at night? Hm. At any rate, you've now been informed. <sighs> Hold on a minute, middle schooler. Nekomatan! <gasps> That's yours, isn't it? You forgot it last night. Uh, <sighs> so, Minamiya-sensei knew all about it, huh? Leaving that doll behind was a mistake on our part. 
No, I meant she knew all about the enemy we fought last night. You mean that Eustick or whatever? Yes, as well as that homunculus girl he was with. A homunculus? As in a man-made life form? It seems the police have been pursuing those two on their demon hunts for quite some time now. But I don't think that they're aware that he's the combat deacon of Lotharingia. Apparently we're the only ones that have gotten out alive. Why didn't you tell Nasuki-chan that, Himuraki? I didn't for a reason. When the combat deacon of the Lotharingia Orthodox Church is involved, it becomes a magic crime of the highest order. That's the law of the Lion King organization. It was also for your benefit as well. Huh? Whether what you did was an act of self-defense or not would be questioned. Oh. Wait, you mean? I do. If we can find a way to prove that he was responsible for the defeat of an old world vampire, then I think that should be able to clear you of your criminal charges. It can't be helped. You are a progenitor after all. So, in other words, we're not gonna get anywhere. Unless we catch those two. Bart, can we get to those two before the police? I'm certain it's possible. We have the advantage of being the only ones that know he is the combat deacon of Lotharingia. There's not many places he can hide. As to where, I did some investigating for potential hideouts. These are the locations to all the West European church facilities on the island. Mm -hmm. I suspect that they must be hiding in one of these locations. I wonder... Uh? Did I make a mistake somewhere? No. But we don't even know if that guy is actually a combat deacon, do we? Huh? In that case, his best bet to look less suspicious to Lotharingians would be to be among them. So maybe someplace like an embassy? Like a corporation's main office that's in Lotharingia. That right? Exactly! Places like that! That caught me by surprise! I had no idea you were capable of coming up with bases on his location, senpai. So we need the locations of all the main office buildings. But gathering all that info will take a long time even if we petition the organization. The Man-Made Island Management Corporation would have data on all the businesses here. But they won't just give that out. <gasps> Business operated out of Lotharingia? Please look into it for me! Hold on, don't tell me it was that Himiragi girl who put you up to this. No! I can't tell you the details. But that info would really help me out a lot! Fine. You win. I'll uh, look into it. <laughs> Let's see... Uh, huh? There's none here! What? Nothing? They probably all pulled out since the Yen has been strong lately. Pulled out? What business is pulled out then? Or any offices that are still around after they pulled out. Okay, I'll check. Ah, there we go. I found one. Uh, where is it? Island North. Level 2, Sector B. Schilt Pharmaceuticals. Its main office is in La Faringia, and the majority of its research involves testing of new drugs on homunculi. When the parent company pulled out of Japan, the laboratory was closed but the facility is still standing. And a homunculus modifying site. It fits the conditions perfectly. I have to ask you to stay here, Senpai. Uh, uh, hold on, Himaraki! Don't tell me you're going alone! Yes, for your movements and focus are that of an amateur. And you're too restless for your own good. <gasps> right now, you're of no use in battle. So please, just lay low and leave it to me. I'm worried about you getting harmed! What? What are you saying? I mean, it's not right to make you handle everything on your own. That doesn't sit right with me. All right then. My primary duty for being here is to observe you after all. So it'd be best for you not to be out of my sight. Let's go together. 
Imuraki. But if the combat deacon or the homunculus show up... I'll hightail it out of there. Yes, please do that. Um... Huh? Senpai? Thank you for saying that. Eh? All right, let's go. Oh. <sighs> we can't get in. It hasn't been opened in a while. Are they not here after all? No, Senpai. This is it. It's elementary magic. Oh. These are homunculi? These things? Senpai? Huh? It's you! Don't look! W what? Warning. Leave this facility immediately. This island will soon begin to sink. Get out of here before then. As fast as you can. The island will sink? What do you mean? This is an island of transient earth floating over an intersection of dragon veins in the southern sea. Once its cornerstone is gone, it will sink. <sighs> Correct. <gasps> Our wish is to find the eternal treasure revered as that cornerstone. And with Astarte, I've attained the power to help me achieve that dream. This is all thanks to you, Sword Shaman of the LKO. You've attained the power. Cut the crap, old man! You planted a familiar in that girl, didn't you? <laughs> Why, yes, I certainly did. Familiars only serve vampires, as you know. But I have created a homunculus that can harness its power by hosting an unhatched familiar in its body, thus allowing me to control her. Shut up! Do you have any idea what's going to happen to her? Of course I do. The familiar will consume the host's life at a horrific pace. Astarte will likely survive another two weeks, at best. But she's managed to prolong her life significantly by consuming the demons she's defeated. You're the one who's been attacking demons on this island. One reason was for them to use their magic as live bait for her familiar. And the other reason is so they would be able to perfect the spell that's sealed deep within Astarte's body. The only reason you raised her was so she could do all this? She's not some tool you can use! Oh, are you angry, Sword Shaman? But weren't you raised by the Lion King organization to be used as nothing more than a tool as well? <laughs> they purchase unwanted children, instill them with the techniques necessary to ward off demons, and send them off to battle. Tell me, just what did you have to sacrifice in order to gain such powerful attack magic at someone of your age? Shut up, old man! Between them and I, I truly wonder who's actually the greater sinner. <laughs> I SAID SHUT UP, YOU SANCTIMONIOUS ASSHOLE! Senpai! <laughs> So, this is the power of the fourth progenitor. Very well. Starte! Show them no mercy! Understood. <laughs> and you... Don't just obey every single word he says! That's correct, Sword Shaman. A technique using divine vibrations to nullify magic and cut through all types of barriers. This is a trump card only the Lion King organization successfully implemented in battle against the demons. 
At long last, I was able to perfect this technique by using the data I gathered in my fight against you and your Shivalza. Farewell, pitiful puppet of the Lion King organization. At least your death will be at the hands of a human. Time to go, Astarte! No matter what, we will reclaim the treasure. Understood. I shall bear your sins with you. After all, I'm your observer, senpai. The right arm of the Saint Four. <laughs> 